Hello Virgo and a very warm welcome to your November 2018 horoscope. This is one active month. We've got planets going backwards, forwards. We've got Jupiter, planet of good fortune, abundance, wealth, growth, wisdom, changing signs this month. So what's it all going to mean for you, lovely Virgos? Well, on the seventh of the month, we've got Mercury. Um, we've got. Um, sorry, should have started there. Uranus going retrograde. He's already gone, you see. Uranus going retrograde until the seventh of March of 2019. Now, Uranus was in Aries since 2011. So this is a wonderful opportunity to reflect upon all the myriad of changes that have happened in your life since 2011, this last seven years. To look at all the areas that you've awakened in, that you've become more aware, more conscious. To observe the way you've dealt with turbulence, with change, with learning how to be more spontaneous. All these things to reflect upon during the time of this retrograde Uranus. Um, because it's important to look at what you have accomplished, what you have done, successfully rather than Virgos you're always usually looking at what you've yet to do or what you could have done might have done better so this is an opportunity really to reflect and see what you've accomplished and really to acknowledge yourself for it also on the seventh of the month we've got a lovely new moon happening here in this third house for you so this is wonderful for learning something new studying something new uh, it's good for networking, it's good for writing, it's good for any kind of communications, making a fresh start with the way that you communicate with people. Really good for that. And then the big news, of course, on the 9th of the month is when Jupiter changes sign and goes into your fourth house until December the 3rd of 2019. So a little over a year, we're going to have Jupiter in the fourth. Now, Jupiter magnifies whatever it touches. So this is going to magnify everything to do with your home, your stability, your security, your family. And it's an opportunity. Many of you will be traveling. Some of you will be moving home. Some of you will be expanding into a bigger home or expanding your space in some way. You might be adding members to your family. So friends might become family at this time. And it's also an opportunity for some great learning experiences connected with your sense of security and stability and being open to change and movement as well and how you deal with that. Now on the 16th of the month we've got Mars coming to join Neptune in your seventh house. Good time for being very proactive in relationships. So you might go after a business relationship or a personal relationship but good time to really take action. Don't just sort of think about it. No, Mars is there it's encouraging you to do something. The 17th is a big day because uh, Venus goes direct and Mercury goes retrograde. It's like they're swapping places. So Venus direct could be very good for you financially. Could be that a deal that's been hanging around or a proposition suddenly begins to move. Good time for negotiations. You might be uh, given a gift or somebody helping you financially in some way something nice happening potentially financially for you. And Mercury retrograde here, you might be reassessing a family situation, you might be looking at past trauma and learning how to release that and let it go. Um, and it's also uh, just to remind you to uh, really good time for getting any repairs done, anything done around the house during that retrograde. Ideally get them done before the retrograde, but also good to get things sorted and tidied and cleaned and cleared around the house during the retrograde. On the 23rd of the month, we've got a full moon happening here in your 10th house. This is shining a light on your career. So for those of you in work, you might have a big change in your career, change in direction. You might be offered a different kind of job, different kind of possibility. And also an opportunity for those of you that are not working to really look at how you interact with people on a daily basis, you know, when you're out in the world. Because the 10th house has to do with being 
out in the world. And you can be out in the world speaking to somebody on the phone and really look at how you communicate. How are you listening? Are you really aware of what you're feeling and how you're responding? These are all great questions to ask during this 10th house full moon. And finally on the 23rd, we've got the sun coming into your fourth house, shining a light on your home area and saying, lighten it up, make it bright and light and do something that makes you feel really good in your home environment. So whether that's buying a nice coloured cushion or a throw, burning some incense, a nice candle, having a bath, cooking something that smells glorious, anything that makes you feel relaxed and at home, this is a great thing to do towards the end of the month. So I wish you a wonderful November. You might want to come and have a personal reading about what this year holds in store for you and how you can make best use of the energies. Thank you very much for listening. Bye for now.